The Steam Deck's own audio effects are pretty nice, but of course sometimes you want to go back to the past, and there's no better way to experience nostalgia than through sounds. If you haven't installed Decky already, here are the instructions for installing Decky. The process is the same as it was before, but just in case you're not familiar, go into System Settings and enable Developer Options. Once Developer Options are enabled, go down to Developer, and in the Developer menu, go down and enable CEF Remote Debugging. This is required to run Decky. If you're prompted to restart your Steam Deck, go ahead and restart your Steam Deck. You'll want to head straight to desktop mode after. If you don't already have an administrative password, you'll need to set one up using up the command prompt, aptly named console in SteamOS. If you've never set a password up, it won't prompt you for a current password. It may not look like it's typing anything in, but trust me, that's just a security feature of Linux. It's typing stuff in, don't worry. Now you're off to the races. Go to Decky's GitHub page, links in the description down below, and copy this command. You want to copy this command and paste it into your console. It will prompt you for that new administrative password you just made, regardless of whether or not you actually made one or not, so if you haven't made one, go back and make one. And just let it do its thing. It's going to take a little bit, so just sit right there and wait. You'll know when it's done installing. So now that it's done installing, you'll want to go ahead and go back into game mode. Next time you open the quick access menu in game mode, you'll see right there the new plugin loader. From here, you can go into the plugin menu and download some plugins. There's a couple of different plugins that you should install, like CSS Loader, and there are a ton that you can install right now, with hopefully more coming soon. But what you want to install is Audio Loader because that's what this video is all about. Do note that you can actually update Decky directly. Just go into Decky settings, go to General, and then update from there. Or you can also update your plugins as well from a convenient little menu right there. So. There you go, you've got audio replacements available to you right now. There's only a couple of different sound packs in here, but I'm hoping more people will make some more sound packs. In the future, this audio plugin will have the ability to play menu music, you know, kind of like older consoles like the 3DS or the PS Vita. You know, speaking of the PS Vita, I also made a few sound packs in there, so you should check them out. Check out some of the sound design right here. But let's say you want to make your own sound packs. Well, that part's pretty easy. The hard part is uploading into a repo, and I'm not going to help you with that because honestly I kind of mess up the process too. So first and foremost, you're going to want to get familiar with this list right here. Your replacement audio files will need to have these names, and it tells you which ones correspond to what sounds and where they play when you do actions in the Steam Deck UI. Of course, you'll need to source your own sound effects if you plan on making your own unique pack. Finally, you're just going to need a good ear to determine what sounds should go where. Basically, all the sound effects have to be .wav files, and then you're going to have to just do trial and error. Listen to the sound effects, and then rename them accordingly. It's okay to have duplicate sound effects if you really need to have them. This will probably take a while if you're a perfectionist. So after selecting your sound files and then renaming them to whatever they should correspond to in the Steam UI, you're going to have to write a JSON file. No worries, you can edit it in Notepad, but it's preferable if you have some sort of coding focused text editor, like VS Code or something like that. Here's an example of a .json file here. This is more specifically for the plugin to tell you what sound pack you're loading up. You know, just in case you have multiple sound packs. Name, description, author, version, they're all pretty self-explanatory. I would keep manifest version at 1, and since music isn't a functional feature yet, music is set to false. The ignore section is where things get a little more interesting. Essentially, this tells the plugin to stop looking for files named this and just play the default version of these files. You know, the ones that are in Steam UI by default. If you don't replace a sound file and you don't add it to the ignore list, then nothing's going to play when that sound effect is supposed to play. You'll want to write this and save it as pack.json and put it in your directory along with your sound effects. For testing purposes, you can just directly copy them into your sound directory. Go to Home, Homebrew, Sounds, and then copy your folder in there. Your folder should have all of your sound effects and the pack.json file like this. And now you're set. We finally relaunched our Patreon page, so be sure to check us out if you want to support us. Promise we'll start doing exclusive content soon. 
If you like high tech low life, you should subscribe and check out my other videos. And for more high tech low life updates, be sure to join our Discord server in the description below.